we just loved it. I think Nate gathering everyone together to do their part and Jacob putting it all together and all those who participated in it. It was truly a wonderful Christmas Eve service. We really enjoyed it. We sent it to family members and to David's sister, Martha in Michigan. And she is in a bell choir. So she particularly appreciated the bell choir pieces. Thank you. Wonderful to hear. Thanks, Anna Maria. And uh, Carol Grosvenor, I see your hand. Can you unmute yourself? Yep. Hear me? Yeah. Okay. I just want to second what Anna Maria said. I thought the Christmas Eve service was just stunning. I just loved it. I watched it twice. So thank you so much to everybody who, who did all that work toward the service. That's so great to hear. Thank you, Caro. Did I see another hand? I have two screens worth of people. Uh, I see Linda Young's hand. Yeah, Linda, will you unmute yourself? Okay. Um, I just got a call from Clavel that she intends to come, but they're going to be a little late because her daughter's going to get there late. So, and gratitude for Clavel, who, who I'm the one who should be calling her to find out how she is. And she calls me to find out how I am. Incredible person. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, and they are faithful watchers of our YouTube services. So it would be really neat if they could hop on this Zoom as well. They've used Zoom a few times already. Maybe they'll be our tech support uh, consultants in the new year. Uh, do I see any other hands? I see Susan Yord's hand. Yes, Susan, can you unmute yourself? It looks like she's still figuring out how to oh, unmute. Well, there are a couple of alternatives to unmuting and you have to push the right one. So we were working on it. What I liked about the Christmas Eve service and I'm very grateful for you all is that it incorporated people from <clears throat> who care about Arlington Church, but who are no longer either with us because they moved um, or can't get on. And it was just wonderful the way the last um, scripture reading went from person to person. That was so exciting really to watch and to remember the folks. And so I'm really grateful for that opportunity in the service. Thank you, Susan. Let's see. And I'm, I'm feeling grateful for uh, things that we have to look forward to in 2021. Uh, we have some new mission and social justice projects that are brewing up. We have a new um, series during our potlucks called Spiritual Journeys, where we have conversations with some of our older members at ACC and just some things that we're looking forward to um, as we continue to move forward in this time. So uh, we're gonna get into a time of silence now um, as, we, as we usually do at this point in our in-person services, just a chance to make sure that there's nothing nearby that's distracting you. And as you feel comfortable to go ahead and Close your eyes for about 30 seconds, and then we'll hear our meditation bell, and we'll hear some words from scripture. So let's go to God in a moment of silent prayer.
Our scripture reading today comes from the book of Luke. And it tells this really amazing story of the baby Jesus being presented in the temple in Jerusalem. And in this story, we meet two amazing characters in particular, Simeon and Anna. Both of them are older, both of them have lived through a lot, and both of them have these incredible reactions to the Christ child uh, when he's presented. So let's listen for a word from God. I'll read this today in the New Revised Standard Version. And you're welcome to follow along on your screen or just close your eyes. This is Luke chapter 2, 22 through 40. When the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and, and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, this child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now we're going to hear a piece of special music from Shanti. So Shanti, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. I don't think we have you quite yet, Shanti. I did, I got it. Can you hear now? Okay, great. Um, this is just a couple of short pieces, a little triptych of music. And uh, it's O Come Little Children, Good Christian Men Rejoice, and then the Holly and the Ivy. Some familiar tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Amen. Thank you, Shanti. So I just want to share a short reflection for a few minutes. My favorite image from this story is the image of the devout Simeon taking the baby Jesus in his arms, cradling him, this old wizened face staring into a fresh new one. It reminds me of the feeling that we had when we would hand off Zoe when she was a newborn to to her grandparents or to people in our churches. There was that mixture of pride and showing her off, but also that irrational nervousness, like my child is now in somebody else's hands. And it reminded me too of how, besides her parents, hardly anyone has gotten to hold Gwendolyn in the first three months of her life. I wonder though what Mary and Joseph felt like when this old man, this stranger, took their newborn son in his arms. And if they did feel a little bit uncertain handing him off, they must have felt a little more strange, I think, when out of the blue, Simeon starts talking to God. It's kind of the opposite of uh, a relative just doing hours and hours of baby talk to your newborn baby. Simeon speaks directly to the Lord. Master, he says, now you are dismissing your servant in peace for my eyes have seen your salvation. What an amazing thing for an old man who has waited his whole life to say about a newborn baby. Then Simeon hands Jesus back to his mama and, and Simeon says something very interesting to Mary. He tells her, this child is destined for the falling and rising of many the falling and the rising of many. Maybe you noticed the sort of strangeness in the way that was phrased. Normally we say rising and falling, like day and night. But today I'm thinking about the appropriateness of the way Simeon puts it. For Jesus is going to be involved in the falling and the rising of many. For so often that's how the incarnate God is at work in our lives in the struggle and then the blessing, in the descent and then the flight, in the crucifixion and then the resurrection. Of course, Mary has already sung out this prophetic truth that God fills the poor with good things and sends the rich away empty. So she knows already that God is a God of reversals. And I think these reversals make sense for us to think about today as we come to the end of a year in which so much has been turned upside down. For the rest of this reflection time, uh, for about five minutes or so, I'm gonna invite you to join the discussion. In just a minute, I'm gonna separate us all into little groups using a feature in Zoom called breakout rooms. Zoom just randomizes uh, who ends up with who, uh, but each of us will find ourselves with three or four other people. 
and you'll get a chance to talk a little bit with your neighbors. And what I'd like to invite you to think about is this description that Simeon gives to the baby Jesus as being present in the falling and the rising. And so I want us to try to put that into conversation with some of what we might have learned during this crazy year of 2020, since this is our last worship together this year. So when you find yourself in your little breakout group with your neighbors, here are two questions that I'd like you to take as your prompts for discussion. And again, we'll, we'll talk with our neighbors for about four or five minutes, and then we'll come back together. But take these two, uh, these two questions as your prompts. Number one, what parts of life have fallen away in the last year? What things have fallen away because of all the changes of the pandemic that, that are actually good things to have fallen away? What things that have, have fallen away are things that maybe it's time to let go of or move on from? That's your first one. And then sort of on the reverse side, what are some new appreciations or practices that have arisen, that have risen up in your life because of all the changes we've had to make this year? So things that have fallen away and then things that have risen up. So now if I can get this going, we're going to be assigned into our breakout rooms here. And as soon as you find yourself in your room, you're gonna to wanna to unmute yourself so that everybody can hear you. Okay. Here we go, I think. Hi, Ken and Donna. I'm not sure why I'm looking at you right now. Hmm. So I'm seeing uh, Barbara and, and Donna here, and I've tried to assign you both to rooms. Oh, there you go. Sure, what that's going on. Okay. Can you hear me, David? Oh, there you go. Okay.
to hop in here. That is so strange. Oh, you can't join the room. That was so weird. Hi, Barry. <laughs> okay, here we are. All right, and we're back together. Well, you all are still here, so that that that's a good sign. 
I couldn't get into a breakout room. So I was just left uh, staring at myself for five minutes. But I hope it went okay with, with everybody else. Thank you for uh, taking the risk. And um, I hope it did start to generate some interesting seeds of discussion. Uh, we're gonna stick around after the worship for those who are available and we'll just do an informal coffee hour and uh, that'll be a time to share a few of uh, the thoughts that people um, reflected on during the breakout rooms. Uh, let's keep moving though in our worship. We're going to sing now again together, uh, O Little Town of Bethlehem. So I'm going to share my screen and Shanti is going to play for us. There it is. Takes a while. Um, the next hymn is All Little Town of Bethlehem. There's four verses. And uh, it would be nice if I could hear you sing with me. But it is what it is. And uh, I like to take it not too fast. So I'm just going to play two lines introduction and then join me.
Amen. Thank you, Shanti. So friends, we're going to move now into our time of prayer. And the way I would love to receive prayer requests, if you have a joy or concern or just anybody you're thinking about, I would love to receive them via the chat function. I think that would be a little bit quicker um, than making everybody raise their hands. So if you want to go ahead and type in um, a prayer into the chat, I will repeat them as I receive them. And then I'll lead us into a time of prayer. Um, first, I would just lift up prayers, continued prayers for um, Glenna Seeley as she continues to mourn the loss of David. Um, I've been in touch with her and I think we're gonna hold a small outdoor service for David um, on the uh, church patio area. Um, uh, the day after New Year's, I believe, uh, Saturday, January 2nd, I think. So that'll be a chance for Glenna and her daughters and a few other family to gather um, and celebrate David's life. I see a prayer request from uh, Bob Stockstad for a friend's granddaughter, Emmy, who is suffering from anorexia. A request from Joe Pratt, um, praying that our country will heal from the wounds of the past four years and join together again in harmony. And prayers from Linda Young uh, for all who suffer because of COVID, uh, whether from illness or from loss of income. Prayers uh, from Barbara Peranto. Hi, Barbara. Prayers for uh, friends, Mary and Sue, uh, who both have COVID. And Susan Russell asked for prayers for all who have lost loved ones to COVID. And a prayer from Elena, uh, uh, for her daughter, Samantha, in her last semester of design school. Congratulations to Samantha. And a prayer again from Barbara for all who worship at St. James Lutheran Church. Would you join with me, please, as we take a deep breath and feeling this cloud of witnesses that is with us together on our screens, enter into a time of prayer. Oh, great and glorious God, on this first Sunday after Christmas, we come to you first and foremost with our hearts uh, thrown open with gratitude for this church community, for the amazing gifts of music and reading and just their presences that so many people shared with us on Christmas Eve. We are so thankful. God, we are mindful in this season of those for whom the holidays are not joyful at all, for those for whom this season brings about thoughts of loved ones who have gone on. And we pray particularly in this holiday season uh, for those who are afflicted with COVID, for those who have lost loved ones to the disease, for those who are suffering financially because of COVID-19. We also pray for Emmy. We pray for Mary and Sue. We pray for Glenna. God, we pray for our country that you might help us heal, that you might help open our minds to your vision of justice and mercy for all people, and that you might help us make sacrifices and make changes as we seek to bring about that world. 
God, for all these people and for those who we lift up now in the silence of our hearts, we just ask that you would surround them with your love, that you would bring your comfort and your healing power to them. And let's all raise our voices now together as we say that prayer that your son Jesus taught us. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We don't have Aliyah and Koa to run around and uh, collect our offering today. Uh, in fact, we don't have anyone to run around and collect an offering, but I did wanna uh, take a second aside in the service um, to encourage you maybe afterwards, maybe a little bit later on today, uh, we will continue to collect an offering this morning for the UCC Christmas Fund, uh, which benefits clergy who don't have retirement savings or who are facing uh, medical emergencies. Um, join with me in making out a check to Arlington Community Church and putting the UCC Christmas Fund um, in the memo line. God, may you bless all the time and treasure and talent that we pour forth. May it do honor to you. Amen. And now we're going to join in singing uh, a song that uh, I think we all know, and I hope we know it because I didn't print it in the bulletin, but Shanti's going to lead us in singing, What Does the Lord Require of You? Amen. Thank you, Shanti. So we're into the um, last bit of our service. Um, I have one or two announcements. Uh, first, I just want to thank um, Susan and Ron Yord. Hopefully you noticed the poinsettias that were part of our Christmas Eve display on our chancel. And Susan and Ron took the time to uh, make sure those were delivered to um, some of our ACC friends. Um, who especially appreciated it this year. So thanks very much, you guys. Um, next Sunday, we will do this Zoom thing uh, one more time before we'll, we'll switch back to YouTube videos on January 10th. But next Sunday, we will gather um, in the same way, live at 10 a.m. Shanti will get a deserved Sunday off and Tim Murphy will uh, join us in playing piano. So I think this has gone pretty well. I, all things considered. So uh, I, I'm grateful to you all for your continued flexibility. Does anybody have another announcement that we need to make? Linda Young, do you think of, of anything we should say? You need to unmute yourself. Giving me permission. <laughs> I, I would just, uh, I pour out a, a great deal of gratitude to the council for all the work that they've done this year. Nobody expected us to be in this situation, of course, and uh, lots of people have stepped forward to do things they didn't expect to do, including one person here who's got, getting a lot of coaching on negotiating rents with the schools and stuff like that. Um, 
but uh, we're 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 surviving and, and we're doing well. And a super thanks to Randy who even did the application for the PPP loan, and we have been forgiven that money. We don't have to pay it back, and who knows? Maybe we'll do it again. Don't no 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 no. It's okay, Randy. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, and and pray for the schools. I would I would send out a big prayer for the schools because they are really struggling, and um, they 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 need a lot of strength. So that's it for me. And thank you to to Linda for your continued leadership uh, during a year that has uh, demanded lots from you as moderator. Let us move into our final hymn now. We're going to sing a, a song that's all about spreading this good, amazing news of Jesus's birth. Go tell it on the mountain. And Shanti will lead us and I will share my screen so we can all see the hymn. Okay, once through the chorus and then we'll get into it. Go tell it on the mountain. Amen. So if you're feeling up to it, or if you don't have anything else to do, stick around and we'll just have a little informal coffee hour uh, right after this. Um, maybe a chance to continue that conversation we were having in our breakout rooms, or also to give me a little feedback about how today went, because I don't really know how it is for you all. I know how it is for me leading the service, but, um, but whenever we do have to go forth, may you hear these words of blessing May you know that now Jesus is here. The Christ child is with you to be present in your falling, to be present in your rising. And may God bless you and keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you. May God be merciful unto you and grant you peace. Amen. And we'll hear a postlude now from Shanti. Let's all rise up and be shepherds and follow.
Thank you. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out how to unmute everyone all at once. Assuming that I can figure that out soon, uh, you're invited to stick around. And, and please do unmute yourself. Done, unmuted. Someone did it. Hi, Larry, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, a little one over there, you just say unmute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody. That's you're great. not allowed to unmute. You're only allowed to mute. Hi, Monica. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Monica. Hi. Wonderful to see you. Oh, you guys, sorry. We were caught a little unawares. We didn't, I was, I was slow on my email and didn't realize it was happening live. So we all took <laughs> up with yeah. the hair at various times. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what a wonderful Christmas Eve service. I know that's probably already been said many, many, many times, but oh, it was so good to see you all in your homes and it really felt so successful um and just heartwarming and it was like being together we're we're gonna crowd around our computer screen i'm gonna move it past <laughs> it. Uh, it was just so so wonderful yeah. so thank you i know that was a, a collective effort to make that happen but nate just wonderful first time i've ever done christmas eve online so bravo yeah for all of us <laughs> first time for all of us yep. right yeah, yeah. And I'm so worked. glad to be with your parents, Monica. That's it's really great. Uh, great yeah, time. us too, us too. Dave sends his love from the kitchen. He's making breakfast. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about ready. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. Well, what's everybody doing for New Year's <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stay home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> stay home, do nothing. <laughs> yep. I'm attending a Zoom Hogmanay party with the Scottish dancers. Oh, nice. <laughs> we can drink anything we want. Yes. <laughs> Copious <Okay>. quantities. <laughs> Monica and I and um, our neighbor, Jennifer Morris, went on a great walk this morning to the nature center mm -hmm. that was a great way to start the morning yeah. oh you must have been up early mm -hmm. Mm, more or less <laughs> okay. how is anna may doing back up she's good. so good she's doing so well yeah we had a christmas uh, eve toast on their lawn with oh. iron coffees which was rich's favorite drink um, but she's doing really so well. Jen's staying with her right now over the holidays. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm. 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 Gonna be quiet. <laughs> so how was that experience of breakout rooms? I'm curious. Did everybody actually get into one? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, we're, sorry. we're sorry you were left That's out. Not you. <laughs> no, Nate. I did this once before and I could join, I could hop between them, which was really nice. Mm -hmm. And then this time I was just stuck uh, outside, but so maybe I ended it too soon, but I got lonely, but uh, <laughs> were you all able to have some sort of discussion? Yeah. yeah. yeah, it was all right. mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. I, I loved uh, Zoe singing at the end of the Christmas. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, amazing for yes. her age. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that yeah. with us. That was really sweet. Singing <laughs> in tune and the whole bit. Yeah, so I know. She didn't get it from me, but but she. It's so like, ever since Advent started, she's learned like five or six Christmas carols, and then wow. kind of like you saw in that video, she just makes up the words. You know, she knows some <laughs> of them keep going till the end of a verse. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. Made it all, she made it all rhyme. I mean, it was amazing how it worked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was cute. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was great to get all those videos from people. I was, I was a little apprehensive at first just to get so many emails coming in, but, but we all worked it out and um, 
everybody did so well with their parts. So I have a question about how when you did when you guys put together a Bible passage, was did you, you did you have everybody read the whole thing and then go in and out to different people in order to make it sound like it's all put together? Are you talking about the the, the fifth John. reading, the John? Yeah. Or, like, or yeah. The, yeah. 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 So that the, one was special. That one, I had this idea of doing it uh, in that way where it was just phrases that got repeated, um, almost like a piece of music or something. And so in that case, I had everyone record their the whole reading, but it's only whole four thing. verses. But the yeah. other ones, like like Concha and Dudley, you guys just were given a, like a few verses. And so you did part of that reading and then it went on to the next person. But that fifth reading, it took Jacob a long time to, uh, to weave it together. That's a lot of cut and paste. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow. That was that, very effective, though. That, I thought. That that was, for, yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it worked well. It was also, at least for me, the first time I'd gotten to see Jacob. I, he's always been just a name, and now he's a, a face yeah. and a rather yeah. young one. Uh, <laughs> I did a double take when I saw Fender across his Twitter. <laughs> That's not a Fender, I know. <laughs> a different Fender, yeah, yeah. I think that was his car. When I asked Jacob to uh, to sing for us, you know, I didn't think he would take it seriously, but he went up to Napa for a weekend, and then he sent me this, and I thought, wow, thanks, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was really beautiful beautiful really piece. good yeah. yeah yeah that's right bob i didn't think about that because you've i mean since you joined and then we had covid it's not like you've had that many chances to see jacob in the office so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's who he is the <laughs> well that's how he was but i guess he still is <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's he's quite an artist on many in many ways i think mm -hmm. absolutely a lot for us yeah. he has something on facebook i don't know if you guys have seen it but it's a it's a bunch of it's a compilation of music from all of his friends i haven't hmm. had a chance to see it but if you you look at look him up on facebook you can find it hmm. um, oh because you know you know he's he's really connected to a lot of musicians so uh would be yeah yeah multi-talented man very very oh and i forgot to thank joe during the service but joe was the one letting everyone in and making sure this actually fl flowed smoothly so thank you joe oh thank you joe i, I figured i couldn't do that and lead the service at the same time mm -hmm. um, was it okay to be muted that whole time i mean i, I don't think there's any other way to do it I, I think, think you're right. I think we need to be more. Yeah. Because this I, is be during a song. I would, leave, I would leave Shanti unmuted the whole time. It's sort of awkward for her to have to go back and forth. And well, yeah, that's, there, there's that's always a, a delay. Idea. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. That would that uh, would up the transitions. Yeah. Yeah. We thought that I could just, un, like, if he was muting everybody, I could just unmute myself here. But that didn't work because he's got total control. <laughs> I think you can be yeah. Total control. Yeah. Um, there, there's one setting that is kind of wrong because somehow you put it on, you wouldn't let people unmute themselves. So at I, the end, you know, so that, something, okay. something was a little screwy with that. Yeah, so. we had to wait for your little message to come up on the screen that said unmute. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was sending that message. Ah, every time took, you weren't talking time. you were talking and nothing was coming out i'd click on the button that said unmute yourself that took time, <laughs> there was yeah. a message that said the host is not allowing you to unmute yourself right which, and then, oh, and then no. okay the setting. okay okay so that was that was a glitch yeah i think that may be a mandatory thing if you say it at all it's not at all I think, Zoom Elena, I think you're right. I think there's something I could have switched in the settings where I think people could have been able to unmute themselves. So yeah, 
Yeah, that's you're probably right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think maybe once it started, we were in that mode. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize I was wielding all this power. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you're the Absolute guy. tower you know that gun you've got. It. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's man. the opposite of my home life, so. <laughs> yeah. Shanti, There's I was impressed with your playing and singing at the same time. Oh, I thank you. That for the recording, for the pre-recorded versions, you're playing it through once and then singing on top of that but right. today you had no choice but to sing and play at the same time <laughs> yeah i hope um the balance was okay because uh usually i record in stereo for our regular virtual services so we have one mic on piano one mic on vocal but zoom only allowed one mic so we had to put it some way in between um you know the piano and my voice so that's something I don't know how the balance was, so you, that was might fine. be some feedback we can give to Nate for next week. So, the, the, there no, is you're a, right. Was fine. Yeah, there you're is right. A option too. You know, I was just going to say that you're right, Dorothy. That in the normal ones, is I do different tracks. You uh -huh. know, piano, and then I do the vocal and stuff like that. So, but today was just a la, a la prima, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I hope you were singing. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's a good thing we were all muted. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would have been choir well, practice. We tried that. Chaotic. So funny. It was awful. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> I think I think uh, Zoom does have a music <clears throat> option. Uh, I don't know oh. if you used that. But um, when I have uh, had speech therapy for my voice, um, we had to turn it, click it onto um, a music, music. So maybe there's that option that may or may not help. Yeah, it's right. gotten more sophisticated recently. Yeah. I think. That's probably for rehearsals though, I would imagine, right? Choir rehearsals? Yeah, probably. I have a friend who just got a new uh, she's a music musician and she's doing duets with people mm -hmm. now on a new uh, a new thing that she got for her computer thinking okay. about getting it too so she can play her flute and I can play the piano oh cool yeah but That's it's fun. not cheap apparently not oh. hey Monica what what does uh dance look like in these Zoom day. On Zoom, it's yeah. about as good as the singing on Zoom. It's pretty <laughs> awful, <laughs> but it's wonderful to have. You're, you know, you can never hear the top of a phrase, and you're never dancing together. But I don't know. It's 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 better than nothing. We've had a really good time um, working on Zoom. We're all isolated and in different spaces, and all the dancers are still in there kitchens and they're very small New York apartments. So I've been making a lot of things that you can do um, in five feet of space. Uh, <laughs> I'm really grateful to be working and, and have a way to see everyone like this. So it'll do for now and, and you know, this won't last forever. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. It does, it does encourage like creativity and just thinking, I mean, as an artist, like for you to just think about new ways to reinvent things. Absolutely. Inside the box. Yes, yeah. It's been kind, yeah, I feel like in a lot of ways, artists are sort of well-suited to, you know, be ever adapting and work with whatever's available. So yeah, we've, we've felt really glad to, to keep figuring out what to do next. Um, although we'll be thrilled to, you know, pack our bags and go back on tour and be in a big theater, thrilled. But until then, we'll, we'll keep being creative. <laughs> Look, looks like this is the time to bring your pets. Uh, <laughs> Linda has her dog and Dudley has his kitty cat. Yes, yeah. My cat is not I making his cat. appearance. <laughs> we saw your cat earlier, though. I had my cat earlier. Nearly knocked the computer over. Yeah. <laughs> that's why his face was so big right he was right in front of it <laughs> probably yes yeah. um i wanted to thank everybody who participated in offering musical offerings 
a lot of you here did that, um, you know, and I really appreciate that. Uh, that really, I thought for me, helped make the Christmas Eve service, all the little segments that you did, you know, that was a lot of, you know, individual participation. Even my daughter, I got my daughter and my son-in-law to participate in the five yes. days of Christmas. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> That's a first, and maybe the only time ever. That was, fun. <laughs> that, that was great. That was a highlight, that actually. Was cute. See that. Yeah. I, I loved all the, uh, lots, lots I, of you always delivering the food. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I talked to Thomas Student, which some of you remember. In Germany, we had a little, it's oh, called yeah. Jitsu or something like that. It's not called Zoom. And um, I sent them that video and, and Karen said, could you just beam me in for a samosa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they said to say hi to everybody and they miss you and they miss the church and we miss Thomas and his beautiful voice participating. So I said, we all miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You should have asked him for a little clip. Uh, he actually said, if I send him the music, which is what I've been doing for soloists, is send him the music and uh, the written music and the piano music, he said he would sing for us. <laughs> so maybe oh, you will God. hear Thomas soon. That'd be great. Wow. I'd like to thank Elena and Anthony for all the Christmas and Advent music too. That was a special yeah. treat yeah. Just, yeah. To have, yeah. just to have all that lovely music. Yeah, that was really a treat. Very nice gift. Very mm -hmm. nice gift. I want to thank uh, Elena for some really good cookies that came from her uh, Anthony's mother's cookbook. Anthony Elena? grandmothers and I didn't I sent them but uh, Anthony and Samantha made them. They, they're very strange. It's a, it's a um, bohemian recipe. And the recipe calls for 12 hard boiled egg yolks. <laughs> hard boiled you egg yolks. Wash them up wow. and then you add sugar and, and flour and all and lemons and other stuff. And they make really beautiful cooking. <laughs> they were delicious. I wanted to eat more than one, but I. <laughs> we have more. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I just want to say. Uh, in the fellowship hall with all of us speaking to one another at the same time there's just this hum or buzz and it's great being able to listen to each one of us yeah. as we share things and mind you I want to be back where I can <laughs> see you and uh, all and do more than elbow bumping uh, <laughs> and real hugs. But uh, it's, it's a new way to be in fellowship and it's a new way to be in worship. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful yeah. speaking voice, Ken. Really nice. It comes across really beautiful on the Zoom. Thanks. Thank you. I'd like to ask Barbara Pronto, how are you doing? It's so good to see your face. There you are. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. Um, I guess it's been a while, but I've, I took this week off, um, this day off, um, and then next week off as well. So I'll be here next week. Um, so on um, Christmas, the week before Christmas wore me out. And, and um, so I knew it would, so I had planned to be here. Uh, so it's, I have it in good hands. So, so we're, we're doing, we, uh, Susan and I uh, were domestic partners. And then on December 4th, we got married. Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh. At the, at we, it was at the um, um, Cesar Chavez uh, Park at the Berkeley Marina. Yeah. And, and we got right out there. There's like a square part that, that's right there and a little mound. So we got married up on the mound. So there was Mount Tamalpais and then the Golden Gate Bridge. And 
of course the bay and then the city was across the across the bay of course and it was just a, a lovely warm day uh, <laughs> i was blue the sun was bright uh, so it was just it was just lovely. Oh. it was just uh us and a, a few more people and and that was it have That's we great. met susan have we met susan um you you did um you may have she came one night long time ago a couple years ago um uh tony was still here uh um I she remember. did a, a presentation on interfaith oh, okay and some of you were were there for that congratulations okay. barbara yeah thank oh, you that's really wonderful yeah. Jeez. So it was actually taxes that pushed us over. <laughs> we were doing we were doing three different tax forms and and it was too much. And of course, clergy is is uh, complicated, and we were paying pay, so we paid somebody to do it, and that was getting ridiculous. And so here we are. So maybe it'll cut costs. <laughs> <laughs> practical, very practical. <laughs> oh, yes. And we wanted to do it before the end of the year mm -hmm. for the whole tax yeah. uh, deal. So hey. um, that's that was our reason for when we did it. Yeah. No, no, you love each other. <laughs> oh yeah, well, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, does does your church do Zooms every week, or do you I do Zooms every week? Yeah. Wow. Yep, yep. I put it up on a, I do a share screen, and and um, we do that. We figured out the music. Um, people need to be on mute. Um, I have them, so there's a lot of switching back and forth for me. Um, when we sing, we're on mute, except for the musician. When we recite, um. Um, I put us all back on. I, I unmute us. I have, have people unmute themselves. Um, it's awkward. Um, it sounds funny. Um, we're not all together. Zoom doesn't know whose voice to pick up. Yeah. Um, so, but it's 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 the church in prayer, uh, especially when we do the, the Lord's prayer, and um, so. It is what it is. It's Zoom, and and it's keeping us together um, in worship. I even do um, Zoom um, communion uh, on online. So um, I figure if the Holy Spirit can go uh, from from my my host that I that I um, uh, bless to to everybody else's. Uh, wafers, then, then it can go from, from my host to your host and piece of bread or a cracker or croissant, whatever you have uh, at your house. So the Holy Spirit's been doing a lot of work, uh, a little extra work. <laughs> grateful for that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> but it is a lot of work. It's exhausting. You don't have a Jacob, huh? <laughs> no no um and and we're smaller so i don't know that doing um um a, a video ahead of time a youtube thing would be helpful um we we like to be together so that's that's how we've decided to do it um and no i don't have a jacob i would love to have a jacob <laughs> <laughs> and a tim also an attempt exactly putting all the music together is a big so, deal so yeah i would i would love to have yeah. um better um technology tech tech people but i don't um so um i i was technology is is my um um kryptonite in the first place <laughs> so i've had to overcome that and and uh, learn a lot of stuff that i didn't think i would ever have to learn yeah well, it sounds so, have we, so have we all. <laughs> yeah, indeed.
Indeed. It occurred to, to me hearing you that that was one of the things that was kind of cool that we had to learn. Those of us who were <clears throat> playing in ensembles or singing in the choir, <clears throat> because we recorded our voices individually and sent them to Tim and he blended them. <clears throat> we got yeah. to find out what we really sounded like when we sing by ourselves. <laughs> uh, he also could mute uh, voices that maybe were a little behind the beat or out of tune. He had yeah. the option to <laughs> kind of put those lower. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and Tim was very gracious about it, you know, about, about trying to fix the squeaks and, you know, he, he, and very encouraging about how when you keep listening to yourself, you'll improve. And I think he's right about that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I feel the jury's out on me. <laughs> it's so weird to listen to yourself. I mean, oh, it is very strange. And Monica, you have your dancers watch themselves, right? We try and avoid it. I mean, I know. <laughs> With any luck, other people are watching. I know, but it is a really strange thing when we do video rehearsal or a show and you watch it and you think, that's not what it felt like. Oh, to do it. So, yeah, we, we have a similar reaction as you, as you do. <laughs> well, Nate, your question that you asked, what's fallen away? I, the first thing I said to our little group was my job description. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that out the window. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not precise anymore. Our, our background is light. Well, but, Mary's, that's dark. See, so that's I have really dark. felt, you know, I, I know that when we record a service, we're all coming to the service at different times, different times of the day, sometimes different days, sometimes only, you know, five minutes apart from each other going through the service together. And that is, has given me, you know, that sort of odd, same sort of thinking, Barbara, how the spirit works and how time works. It just seems to me that if we're all observing and sort of with the service whenever we're doing it, we are together in kind of this odd way. It doesn't, time has nothing to do with it. So I guess that's the right. spirit, right, Barbara? Because I cer I certainly feel together with you all when we're when we're at church. <laughs> right. Yeah. There there is I a benefit like... to those recorded ones though because you can watch it when you want to, mm -hmm. when you can. Sometimes you can't couldn't make it right at ten o'clock. So right. That's right. a nice thing. Yeah. Exactly. So I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I bought my sister-in-law a T-shirt that says "Prayer the original." Wireless connection. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's a good one, Dorothy. <laughs> well, I think too one of the one of the lessons that we've that we've learned is that we are we cannot go forward without technology. Hmm. So we we didn't have any technology at all, and now going forward, we're going to have to have something that when hmm. people can't make it, they're there. Uh, that there's some way of connecting um, for those who cannot make it. So, yes. so yeah, technology is going to be uh, part of the of the fabric going forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we know we know how far afield our our message goes at Arlington, though. It's been wonderful having people from all over participate. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be available um, afterward for other people to watch at their convenience? Uh, today, yeah, yeah. Although I, I was recording it beforehand, and then it's I stopped it before everybody came in because it was just me at like nine forty-five, and then I forgot to start again until like ten fifteen. Yeah, we. Yeah, I think I, I'll have to go back and check, but um, I cut off the first little bit of the service but then i remembered so yeah yeah we'll upload it to youtube and people can watch it in that way okay yeah Good. well it's so nice yeah. to see everybody i know it's different to do it on video but i really liked like seeing your faces and even those times we were singing and i could see everybody i thought that was really nice so um you did too
thanks for tuning in. Any any last uh, words of wisdom? Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's coming right around. Right. Linda, were you raising your hand, Linda? No, I was just waving. Oh, oh you were just saying. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully I will see uh, most of you next Sunday, same place, same time. And um, Monica, so I want to visit. Are you, are, you, uh, are you headed back anytime soon? We leave on the first. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Well, it's so great to see you. Thanks for taking the time to join us. Of course. So wonderful to see everybody. And mm -hmm. happy New Year. Blessings. Thank and Barbara as well. And, and all of you. God bless you all. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Bye.